Hi guys, hi guys, welcome to the show. Today, let's answer the question, can you be deported for working under a visitor's visa here in the US? And the answer, the short answer is yes. Actually today, I saw the video of a Kenyan woman who was deported from the US over a video on her phone. And it was on the Bradshaw Live He's a YouTuber, he's an infotainer, he's also an immigration attorney, Brad Bronstein. And uh, according to him, he had uh, this woman who was deported from the US because they looked into her phone and they found a video of her working under visitor visa, uh, which is obviously not allowed under the B category visas. So according to USCIS, you're not supposed to work under a visit visa. The B category visas are strictly uh, travel visas for short periods of time, and then you go back to your home country. So what happened was that uh, this Kenyan lady came to the US under a visitor visa, and she had left her children behind in Kenya. She came here, um, you know, when you come to the airport, you the port of entry, your passport is stamped or you're given something electronically uh, called I-94 that tells you the duration of time that you're allowed to be in the United States. So regardless of how long your uh, visa is, for example, if your visa is five years, the duration is five years. The visit itself is probably up to six months, but the purpose of your visit when you come to the US is most likely maybe two weeks or, or th three weeks or whatever. But when you come to the port of entry, they stamp your passport and then that lets you know when you're supposed to leave the country. A lot of times people overstay that. So that's called uh, overstaying your visa and you're out of status. So she worked for like five months uh, so let's say her period was six months. She was allowed to be in here for six months. She worked for like five months. She went back home. And when she tried to come back again, um, um, I believe she she most likely went through a secondary inspection at the airport. And that's when they discovered that they were, uh, there were videos about her working in the US illegally and a, a visitor visa. I know some people want to take uh, take the risk and do it, but it is not allowed under B visa. So let's just be clear and avoid uh, issues because what happened was she came to the airport and she was deported. She was deported. They said it was a five five year ban uh, because of deportation, but the immigration uh, lawyer Brad is saying that uh, it's a permanent permanent ban because of working using a visitor visa. So just be aware that uh, B category visas are not work visas, they are visitor visas. So um, if you come to the United States and you would like to work, you can do that, but you have to adjust your status. So according to um, USCIS, uh, adjustment of status, you have to file an um, application to register for permanent residence or you adjust your status. You can either find a job that can sponsor you while you're here. Uh, during that time, you probably have to extend your visa, you know, the, your stay here. You have to apply and petition to extend your stay here so that you don't get out of status while you're trying to find a job or you're trying to find a, a, somebody to sponsor you job-wise to stay here. The other alternative is you can get married to a U.S. citizen and then um, do the adjustment of status. So these are the steps to follow when you're trying to adjust your status. First of all, you have to determine if you're eligible to apply for a green card, and then you or someone else must file an immigrant petition if applicable, and then you check the visa uh, availability, file form 1485, I-485 for permanent residence, 
and then go to your application support center appointment, go to your interview, respond to question uh, or any request for additional evidence, check your status online and receive a decision. Please note that this process takes a long time. So like I said, if you need to extend or request an extension for you to continue staying in the US, then you need to do that early. If you know that you're not trying to go back to the uh, to your home country after you get a B1 visa or a B2 visa, start filing for extensions uh, of the stay very early in the process so that you don't overstay your visa. You don't get out of status. Adjust your status so you are here legally. Uh, if you get a job, then you get a visa, you know, permanent res residence through the job or through marriage. Uh, just just do things legally so you don't get so you don't get yourself in trouble. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. I hope. I hope that's clear. You can extend, like I said, you can extend your visit. It says here that if Customs and Border Protection CBP authorizes your admission to the United States at the designated port of entry, you will receive a stamped Form I-94, which is the record of arrival or departure. If you wish to stay beyond the time indicated on the Form I-94, you may apply for an extension by filing Form I-539, application to extend or change non-immigrant status with USCIS. So make sure you're following the right channels so you don't get yourself in, uh, in trouble. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Uh, share and like, comment, uh, so that uh, YouTube can forward this uh, information to other people that might need it. You never know who needs this information. Lucy Mongi USA, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.